Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is a B day. Please stand for the morning ceremony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Couple things today. First of all, I want to say you guys are doing a good job. You know, I just want to make sure we stay disciplined and stick to the plan. Uh, so little things that, you know, that are going to get in the way. Um, quote I always love from John Wooden: uh, "Little things make the big things happen." Uh, just you know, remember we want to be here throughout the year. We want to stay here. We want to make sure that we have the best school experience we can have this year. Uh, and the big thing about uh, being here is making sure that we stay safe and we stay healthy. Um, especially uh, if you're seniors. And part of those staying healthy means to make sure we're masked up at all times and our mask is worn appropriately and pulled up over our, our nose and covering our nose and our mouth and that we uh, social distance as much as we can. Uh, make sure that you're spacing out and make sure that when you're in the hallways, you space out, you're wearing your mask in classrooms that we're not crowded by the door and seniors. I know that we're trying to give you guys some, uh, some of the privilege of being a senior that other seniors have had in the, in the past. And that means like a senior lunch and senior study hall, uh, those times when you're in the foyer or the courtyard, the cafeteria, and you're able to spend some time together, um, as you should, just make sure you're wearing your mask. And if you're eating, make sure you spread out and you're farther than six feet. You guys have been pretty good, but I know that the more comfortable we, we, we are together and the longer we're here, sometimes it's going to be uh, a little bit easier to slip and be uh, you know, a little less disciplined to those little things. Um, but remember, seniors, as much as anybody, uh, you have some big things this year that I would love to see happen. Like last year, we didn't have a prom. I want to see a prom. Uh, we have opening ceremony I'll talk about coming up, um, graduation, senior fun night, senior trip. Some of those things that uh, didn't happen last year, I'd love to see that happen this year. Um, so let's stay safe. Let's stay healthy. Let's keep going on the path that we want to go on. And remember, <clears throat> seniors, you're leaders in the building. Uh, so you set the tone. Uh, so keep those big goals in mind. And and know that it's the little things, doing those well every single day, uh, that are going to help us to continue being here. And that goes for everybody. I've, I've loved to see, see kids back in the building. We've been doing a great job. Uh, just continue to do a good job. Continue to be focused on those little things that keep us safe. Opening ceremony, I'm looking to have this next Friday during second block. Uh, usually we have an opening ceremony in, the, in high school for grades 9 through 12. I want to incorporate 6 through 12 having an opening ceremony. Well, obviously, we can't have everybody together. So what we'll do is we'll have the seniors uh, usually walked into their senior song and senior leaders and class advisors need to come see me and we'll start working on what this looks like, uh, the details, but I want it to look as much like it did in the past. Uh, we can do a senior walk through all the hallways, through the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, all, through the, all the ways, the hallways, figure it through the building, to your senior song, through the building, uh, then bring you into the courtyard, uh, much like we did in graduation, have a message from the principals, from class leaders. I'd like to get class leaders from uh, grades 6 through 12 uh, to, to say a little something about what makes us uh, Livonia Bulldogs and what we stand for here. And then have uh, Livonia Live open us up with a national anthem and then close us out uh, with, with uh, Dear Livonia, which is how we end the year. We start the year the same way. So we're looking to plan that a little bit. So seniors, that's like I said, something to look forward to. Uh, if you're a class advisor or student leader in the building, uh, whether you're in sixth grade or twelfth grade, you know, stop by and see me, and we'll start planning that. So we'll listen to the announcements for uh, for meetings when we'll we'll talk about more of the details. So once again, uh, if you're looking to be on the video announcements, please stop by here. Either see us in the main office or Mr. Turner in the cafeteria. Uh, we want to get this going for next week in lunch order form. I did have uh, some good ideas yesterday uh, that, that popped up that people can order lunch as as soon as lunch is over. So fourth or fifth period, you can order lunch for the next day. So if you uh, keep forgetting to do it in the morning um, and you don't remember till lunch, you can order after lunch for the next day because they clear it out at like 1030 in the morning and they start over. So after 1030, you can order again. So fourth or fifth period, um, you can order for the next day and that might be a little easier for you to remember. You set a reminder for that. So once again, thank you Bulldogs. Great job. You guys have made me proud. And uh, I know we'll continue down that path, but uh, have a great day and stay safe.